Just posting more on Instagram will actually get you more followers. Let's take a look. Welcome back to another episode of Social Media Growth, right? That's what we called it. Um, so if you've missed last week's episode, I will link the whole playlist in the corner up here. Make sure you check that out after this video. And if you don't want to miss next week's episode, make sure you hit the sub button down below so you get notified every time I upload a video. Oh, and if we have not met before, my name is Luke, by the way. I'm a full-time content creator. And on this channel, we're covering my journey through social media. I will share all my tactics that I'm using. I'm trying out my trial and error kind of thing. And on this channel, we're also covering everything related to live streaming. So we're talking gear, software, everything you need to know. If you want to catch me live, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Link is down in the description below. One last thing before we get started with the video. For the month of June, our merch website, enhanceyourgame.net, it's the first link down in the description. We are doing a pride collection and 100% of the profits will be donated to the Utah Pride Center. So if you like to support pride, make sure you head down to enhanceyourgame.net. Like I said, link in the description. And if you want a more detailed explanation of this whole event kind of thing, head to my Instagram, link is down as well, where I made a video explaining everything about that. But that's enough of me. Let's get to the meat of the video. Like I said before, we are focusing this time on Instagram, but we still have to get all the other channels out of the way. So let's keep the order, head over to YouTube. In last week's episode, the YouTube channel was sitting at just under 500 subscribers. I think it was 495 and 8,400 views in the last seven days. Let's take a look at what it's sitting at. As of filming this video, the channel is sitting at 570 subscribers, which is amazing. This is a growth of 94 subscribers over the last seven days. So if we compare it to last week, last week we were sitting at 20 subscribers a day. And as of this week, we're more sitting at the 14 mark, which is still not bad. With everything in life, even on YouTube, there are ups and downs. It will not always go steadily up. But what we can see is that the views compared to last week have gone up by a whole 1,000 views. Last week, we were sitting at 8,400 views per seven days, and now we're sitting at 9,400. So this is great. The subscriber count slowed down a little bit. It's still increasing, but the views are actually increasing even faster. I'm still experimenting uh, and taking a look at the thumbnails over time, how they have performed. But the one thing that I experimented with this week is I uploaded a video on Wednesday. I will link it in the court up here if you have not checked that out. And I tried a different style of video, trying to get a different vibe across. So make sure you check that out. Let me know how you like the video and see more of it. All right, this was enough of YouTube. Let's keep it short and crispy. Head over to Mixer. Last week, the Mixer channel was sitting at 850 followers and 3,700 views about that. And as of filming this video, the channel is sitting at about 890 followers and 3,850 views. So this is an increase of 150 views over the last seven days and an increase of about 50 followers. The growth on Mixer has slowed down significantly. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. It's still going up, so that is great. Um, nothing to worry about, definitely something we keep an eye on. It might be because Mixer has been kind of under the radar when the new growth numbers came out last last week, two weeks ago. Um, maybe some people switched over from Mixer to Twitch. Mixer was completely down for a while yesterday, and a lot of even partnered streamers hold their stream on Twitch, which is really not good that that happened to Mixer. Um, so we'll see. Also, I really appreciate the feedback under last week's episode where I introduced you to stream loots. A lot of you have not heard about that. Um, if you missed it, like I said, link in the card up here. And also the stream loots link, if you've missed it, is down in the description below if you want to get to the website. All right, we made it to Instagram. The reason why we are all here and as of last week, the channel or the page was sitting at just over 400 followers. And as of filming this video, the channel or sorry, the page is sitting at about 430 followers, which is an increase of about 20 followers a week It's growing really slowly, but steadily. So I take it, it definitely could be faster. But let's take a look at what we're talking about this week. So does posting more actually get you more followers? And what I have seen is definitely yes. I think I mentioned that in last week's episode, but I am posting about four to five times per week. And then I'm also making Instagram stories every single week. This has not only led to an increase in followers, but it also has led to a dramatic increase in engagement, which is even better in the eyes of Instagram algorithm. Engagement meaning the likes, the comments, just the interaction with the posts has increased. And I think it is really important that you find the content to publish on Instagram. I see a lot of people just promoting their stream or YouTube on Instagram, but 
I think it's still really important to create content specifically on Instagram that the audience will not find anywhere else. And the other thing is that works really well with Instagram is personalized stories. Stories that talk about your personal life, kind of like behind the scenes of what the people see on YouTube or on Mixer or Twitch, wherever you're streaming. And I'm still guilty of that myself. I'm still not including enough behind the scenes kind of story. So I'm definitely working on that. But if you want to bring your engagement even higher, bring the people behind the scenes, let them see how your work looks like. And then the last part of today, hashtags. Over the last couple of months on Instagram, I started out using 30 hashtags. I maxed out hashtags every single time. And what I have seen is there's absolutely no difference in my post if I put eight to 12 hashtags on it, or if I put 30 hashtags on it, the engagement is exactly the same. I think a lot of people overcomplicate hashtags. I think hashtags are important so that Instagram somewhat categorizes your posts. But most important is your organic growth and your engagement with those posts. So what really helps is within the first hour to just reply to the comments underneath your post, the same thing you should do with YouTube, just to drive more traffic to the post and have the algorithm push it even further. But other than that, as long as your hashtags are specifically to the post, I don't you need to overcomplicate it that much. The worst thing, in my opinion, that you can do, and I see a lot of people do, is they mistag their posts. There's nothing more that annoys me and other people than mistag pictures. So make sure you stick to specific hashtags, but don't overcomplicate it. You don't need to max out 30 hashtags every time. So in short, my strategy for Instagram is to create specific content for Instagram that you do not find on my YouTube or my live stream. The hashtags, keep them short, keep them specific, don't overthink it, and then be consistent and try to include people more in your personal life into the behind the scenes of what I'm actually doing for work. And guys, this is it already with the video for this week. I hope I kept it short and crispy this time. I'm trying to keep these things more to the point, less fluff in it. In next week's episode, I'm pretty sure it will be exactly one month after launching the first episode of this. So in next week episode, I actually wanna take a look at how has the channels performed over the last four weeks. So I think that will be really interesting. It will be kind of difficult to find the statistics on that for uh, Mixer or for Instagram, but we'll get through this. So if you like the video, guys, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm to push the video even further and recommend it to people and grow the channel. If you do want to support the channel, there are affiliate links to my products down in the description, as well as my merch if you want to support Pride during the month of June. And the last thing, make sure you share the video with your family, your friends, as well as the dogs. This is it, guys. Make sure you hit the sub button down below for next week's episode. Have a good day. Stay hydrated. I'll catch you next time.